Hello, it's Kate from Ink Stamp Share, independent UK Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm very excited because it's time for our monthly YouTube hop. We are a group of independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators getting together and sharing creativity with you. Now our theme for this hop is one stamp set four ways. And seeing as we're just launching our absolutely brand new, beautiful new catalogue, I wanted to share you share with you something from inside it that I absolutely love. Now here's our new catalogue. They should be arriving with you if you haven't already any day soon if you shop with me. If you'd like one um, and you don't have a demonstrator, do drop me a message and I'd love to send you one in the UK. Do that, that's absolutely fine. Now I'll move it out of the way because I can't show you the inside until it launches. But it's got loads of beautiful stuff in, of some of which I'm gonna show you today. Because as a demo, I get to pre-order lots of lovely goodies. It's a great perk. So, one stamp set four ways. I chose the World of Good Suite and it is stunning. And I'm going to be using some of the new Design Series papers, brand new ones. I'm gonna show you a, it'll be a bit of a sneak peek actually when this comes to you because it doesn't launch for a couple more days. So, let's have a look. Look at these. They are foiled speciality papers. You can tell I've cut into this sheet. It's all to do with the world, globes, maps, travel, journeys, adventures, that kind of stuff. So I loved it. I absolutely fell in love with the suite, all of it, um, because I'm a scrapbooker. But it's also stunning for cards. So look at all of these maps. This one has constellations on the back. Just gorgeous, and I love these muted colours. This is some of the brand new ink colour that we've got coming. This is called Cinnamon Cider. And then we've got some gold grid. So it's a pack of 12 sheets of 12 by 12. Double sided. Paper. This one's got globes, gold. Actually, I, these are not gold. These aren't gold foil, they are brass absolutely stunning more compasses so yes these are what i'm going to be playing with today look at this one how gorgeous are these that's a good one it's got lots of script on the back more compasses this would actually team up really well with the sail away suit that we have here, more stuff. So that's the papers I'm using. So I'm gonna crack on and show you my project, my main focus of the, the project, and then I'll show you the rest of the goodies, or as I go along, I'll show you the rest of the goodies in this suite. So my card base is going to be in Cinnamon Cider. This is one of the brand new in colors, gorgeous. So I have used a piece of A4 card. I've scored it in half at 10.5, and I've cut it in half at 14.9 centimeters. And then I have taken a piece of crumb cake. Now, does this look like an old battered, crumpled up, oldie worldy piece of paper? That's that's what it because what it's meant to look like. So I have used the embossing folder that goes in this suite, and it is called the Old World Paper 3D embossing folder. And it comes and it's just amazing, and it makes it look like old paper. So I've already run this one through. This is crumb cake and I've run it through the embossing folder and I've made it half a centimetre smaller. So it's 14.3 by 10. And all I've done to highlight some of the bumps in this lovely fold, in this lovely texture is I've taken one of my sponges and where is my ink? It's here. I've used early espresso ink and I've just sponged a very little bit all the way around the edges like so. Just to give it that worn, dirty, kind of shabby look, like so. And then I've just kind of rubbed it all over. And I don't want it too brown. I just want to highlight some of those bumps. And I think it really does the trick. I absolutely love this embossing folder. I think I'm going to be using it a lot. Okay, so that's going to be the layer that goes on here. And then I've cut a piece of the designer series paper. This is the one with copper foiling that has a map of Europe on it. I happen to have, I happen to have cut this piece that has Scotland, it's got London down here, it's got lots of places on it, look. Scarborough, there's Birmingham, Hereford, <laughs> brilliant. So, and I have cut it smaller 
than a centimetre because I'm going to offset it so, um, half a centimetre smaller. So it is nine centimetres by 14.3, I think. Yes, yeah, it's pretty much the same at the top. And I'm going to offset my piece of card like so on there just so it's on an angle. That's how it's going to look. Now, I'm going to put a globe on it. I'll show you the stamp set that comes in this suite. This stamp set. So this is your main focus of the suite, the stamp set, and everything else goes around it. And we have got the dies to go with it. So you have got your globes, you've got your compass, you've got a nice feather quill and an ink pot and a stand. You've got writing lines, some gorgeous font sayings, sentiments, and then you've got the dies that match. So you can cut the feather out. There's one that embosses a script. You've got one that lives a border. You've got both sides of the world, which is very useful. And you can cut out swirls of further font. You can put your globe in a smaller, um, what's the word? Smaller little stand there. And then we've got this circle as well. Oh, I'm having another, I have another, uh, there is another one in here. There it is. I was going to say, there's a big stand. So you can sit your globe on the stand. See, I've done one here already. And you would have it in your stand like that. How cool is that? So beautiful dies. So let me show you what I'm going to do with it. So as I've done here, I'm just going to repeat this process to show you. I've got a piece of vellum. I wanted to put a, a globe on my card but I didn't want it too harsh. I wanted something soft, so I chose some vellum. And I'm going to emboss in the vellum. So I've got one of the globes there. I'm just going to grab my embossing ink. I tidied it up. What was the point of that? Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, so I've got a little tray, I've got my vellum and I've got my Versamark, clear Versamark. My pad's a little old, but it does not matter. It's still very juicy. Right, and I'm going to stamp straight onto the vellum. You won't be able to see it because it's a clear ink pad. It's just like a sticky stuff, really. So you can't really see it. If I shine it, you can see it there. And then I've got my gold embossing powder. And I'm going to shake it all over the top. Like so. And then I'm going to heat set it with my heat tool. So let's pop that back away. You don't need one of these trays. I picked this up years ago at a craft fair, but you can uh, use a piece of paper or a card just to collect your powder. I've got my heat tool and I'm going to heat it. So I'm sorry it's going to be a little noisy, but you can see it change. It's so satisfying. See how matte it is. You see it change to a lovely glossy metallic shine. Most to please me. So I've kept this die out because I'm going to cut this circle out. So let's just take a bit of this one off. Put it out of the way. I've got my big shot next to me, so I'm just going to see it cuts it out exactly. I'm going to pop it through and it's going to cut it out. my plates. There we go, just pop it on. I like to put a little bit of washi tape to hold mine together. That's a good tip that it stops the dye moving around. 
see that's where I put the washi tape. It stops the dye moving around. It keeps it all in the right spot. There we go. Let me just move that back there and pop that away again so I don't lose it. And that's going to go on the front of my card. So pretty. Now, I want to make a label. I want to make like a, just a little sentiment really. But I want it to look kind of oldie worldy too. So I'm going to stamp. I'm going to stamp life's a beautiful journey i think it's got some beautiful sayings in this stamp set absolutely stunning ones for lots of occasions um you can do it in you could have done let's have a look i stamped this out and i used a different punch but you could have used adventure awaits but i thought life is a beautiful journey Pop it on like that. Oh, I smudged that. Let's do it. It's because I not can't see it very well. I need to lean a bit further. Let's do this better. Do a better job of it. There we go. That's exactly what I want. It's a beautiful journey. I'm going to cut that out using my trimmer. Right. You can get this cinnamon cider um, cardstock as soon as the catalogue launches. It's one of five brand new ink colours. They are all beautiful. Just give it a blow to make sure it's dried. I'm just going to cut around it. There is no special measurement. I'm just cutting around my sentiment in a rectangle. Using my trimmer. I love my trimmer. Life's a beautiful journey. I think I might cut a little bit more off the bottom, but not much because I've got the bottom of the F. There we are. And I'm going to make it look old. So I'm going to pop it through the big shot with that lovely old paper embossing folder. Just change my plates about again and grab it. It's one of those really deep 3D ones. It's really cool. Now, here's a tip. If you put it through so that your Stampin' Up! logo is on the front, you'll find that you kind of... It's more debossed, if you like, and the bumps go that way. Well, I prefer it the other way. So I'm going to turn mine over like that, and I'm going to pop it in that way. So it's upside down. But you do it however it suits you, you like. Well, then let's see what we've got. And it looks all old. And battered. I love it. <laughs> and I'm going to move my trimmer because I don't need that again. And I'm going to slightly ink that up as well with that piece of sponge. I can always put more ink on it, which I think I need to. Bit of a distressed look, is that the maybe? And then I'm just going to go across it a bit so it catches on the bumps, but I obviously still want to see my writing, so I don't want too much ink on there. So that will do for that one. So we've been in kept away. Right, okay, so this is going to go on here like that. Life's a beautiful journey. There's another thing in this suite that you'll love in the whole suite. There's a little um, tub. These are fabulous. These are called the antique corners and slides element. And you get these cute little sliders. Like that. And you also get corners, like the old fashioned brass photo corners. Aren't they gorgeous? So I'm going to put some of these on this piece of card just to make it look a bit older, like it's a tag. 
And I haven't done this yet, so let's see if they stick using Tombow. They might want a glue dot, but I'm going to try. If I can get my Tombow to work, I haven't used it for a while. Which all comes spurting out. Let's try another one because I don't want it to go shooting everywhere. Oh, well, here's the one I was using before. So, I'm not sure how well it's going to stick, but we'll give it a go. Like that. And obviously, it's bumpy because it's been embossed. So, probably wet glue is the way to go. Yeah, I'll leave that there. It dries clear. I just put a bit of that on there. I might cut it a bit small as well. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Stuck to me. Yeah, I think I've cut it too small. It was a good idea. Make sure it's straight. It's not bad. Don't have to use these, of course. Just thought it looked lovely. Pop it on. That seems to be sticking. It just fits on there, doesn't it? Just fits on there. I might be able to zoom it in actually. I don't think I can. Okay. But what we need it to do is dry then. So let's leave that to dry and see how it dries. Oops. And while that's drying, I'll stick our other layers together. Now I'm going to use my snail, I think. The back of this one. Hmm. I don't think I've cut myself any white cardstock on the inside of the card. I might have. Right, I just want it slightly on the skewer, not too much. Just like that. And that one's going to go a bit skewed as well. So you can still see the texture of the, still see the texture of the base and the layer on there. And this one's going to go on, this one here. Like that. So I can see where it overlaps. Now if you um, put glue behind your vellum, you're going to be able to see it. So I'm going to stick it down where it overlaps so that you can't see it. That's going to be the idea. So in the top, in the bottom corner, I'm going to put a load of glue there. Still, I can still see Scotland, still see all the places I want to, still see London, and I'm going to pop that on there, and I'm probably going to put it up on dimensionals as well. And I will have to grab some white cardstock to do my inside. So, when you do a video hop, it's a collaboration, which is amazing, because it means that in my description bar down below, you will find all the links to all the other girls who've taken part in this video hop with the same theme, um, sharing loads and loads of creativity with you. So do have a look in the description bar and have a look 
and have a hop around and see what you like because I imagine that everything that she uses from the brand new catalogue and you'll get loads of inspiration. So I've put how, Life's a Beautiful Journey on there. And now I need to put something inside it. It would be quite useful if I had white cardstock right next to me, isn't it? To do a little hop skip and a jump because my dog has come in and he's asleep on the floor here and I nearly dripped over him. He loves to be here when I'm doing YouTube videos and Facebook lives. It's his favourite place to be and I'm invariably falling over him. So I need a little whisper white panel to go inside for my writing. So if you want to send a card and write it, you need something to write on the inside because right on the straight on the inside you won't really be able to see very well so I'm gonna put it in here life's a beautiful journey like that and I think let's have a look what have I got in the stamp set got adventure awaits thank you for being part of mine that's a lovely one isn't it I think I use that one it's really lovely love it Make the oh you make the world a better place. Ooh. Where is the stamp? Where is the stamp? Should be in there. Thank you for being a part of mine. I know I took it out to use it just now. Hmm. I might have to come back and stamp that in a second when I found the stamp. Here it is. It was looking at me the whole time. Do you ever do that? Do you ever lose anything when you're crafting? It was actually, it was there the whole time. <laughs> I've not put the sticker on this one. Need to do that in a minute. See how new it is. <laughs> half of them have stickers on and half of them don't. So, sure is. It's no good with a sticker on because you can't see if it's the right way up. So make sure you put those on before you stamp. Thank you for being a part of mine. I always like to do my stamping before I stick it into my inside of my card because if my stamping goes wrong, there's always another side to the card. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of little globes on this too. So I'm gonna grab that one. Am um, I gonna use this ink? Yeah, I'll use this ink. And I should grab a little bit of scrappy paper just to save my grid paper there. Save the planet a little bit. Look at that font, isn't it beautiful? There we are. Thank you for being a part of mine. Oh, I love it. I do, I really love it, actually. Right, let's move that. I'm going to pop that on the inside. Let's put some snail on there. Pop that inside. Thank you for being a part of mine. That's so cool, isn't it? I love that. And then I have got these. So these are the brand new in colours that we've got. Brand new! Coming out on the 3rd of June. Excuse my nails. I was experimenting with colour. I'm not sure if I was going the right direction there. <laughs> so they kind of clash, but never mind. Okay, so I will run through these with you. We have got Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Misty Moonlight, Just Jade, and Magenta Madness. How bright is that one? So this is obviously uh, Cinnamon Cider, and I'm going to use a couple of those on this card. But 
brand new. Fabulous. Get my take a pick tool out because that's the easiest thing to pick these things up with. Let's just take a couple of those and decide where they're going to go. I'm going to put one there. Move it down slightly. And then I'm going to put one here. And one more. Move those out of the way. Oh, I love that. And I think these actually work, these little brass. And they're on there. They're not coming off. So that is quite good. These little brass type photo corners makes it look like a label. Life's a beautiful journey on that gorgeous designer series paper with our vellum globe. And thank you for being a part of mine. Love that. Now, one stamp set, four ways. Therefore, I need to show you three other projects using this stamp set. So here we are. I'm not going to bore you but I'm making them, but here are some I've already made. So I made this bookmark. Absolutely love it. So in the uh, stamp set, we have got the feather. You can also cut it out with the dies, but I felt that I just needed it flat for a bookmark. Um, we've got the little ink pot, we've got the adventure weights and some of the stamping. Um, I did it in vellum just to soften this, but I made the actual bookmark piece in the cinnamon cider using that great old paper 3D embossing folder. And then this is used with our tag topper punch and I've put some of this gorgeous new ribbon. Now this ribbon is part of this suite as well, it comes as part of the suite and it's soft and it's like, it's not even cotton, it's like a fake suede. It's called a faux suede ribbon. And I've got it here and I'll show it. It is so soft and beautiful. It is lovely. It's called faux suede trim and it's just gorgeous. So that's part of this suite too. So handily, if you like the whole suite, when you get your catalogue, you'll see there is one item number that you can use if you wanted to order the whole suite as one thing. So that's quite handy. Um, otherwise, you can just do individual parts. So that's the bookmark I made. As you'll notice, I've used one of the antique sliders that's in those little, with the with the photo corners in that little, this little packet here. So I've used that one. So I've made a beautiful bookmark. And I thought this is great. Adventure awaits. When you open a book, it's a new adventure. And my other two projects using this stamp set, I have got, I have used the Memories and More cards. Now this sweep just screams scrapbooking and it has a pack of Memories and More cards to go with it. And they are absolutely gorgeous and they have so many beautiful things. They have stickers, they are foils, they have them in the smaller and the larger and they are beautiful and they have all the images. And they're perfect for scrapbooking, which is what I bought them for. But then, of course, they're also great for making cards, which I've done here. Now you get two each of these. So I have used, because I wanted to keep one, so that's good. So I have used this one for this card. It's literally a crumb cake base with a knight of navy layer. And then I've cut this card to fit. I've stamped the feather and the ink pot in knight of navy and cut them out with the dies. I've used a brand new punch that we've got in the new catalogue. It's called the Lovely Labels Punch here. And it's one punch and you get six different size labels from it. How cool is that? And I've used that there, my adventure awaits. And all I've done is punch some holes in the end to make it look like a, almost like a luggage tag. And I've put some of that faux suede trim on there and just glued that down. And I haven't got an inside on that one yet. So that's my next job. So that one says, Enjoy the journey, adventure awaits. Love it. I thought this would be great for uh, good luck to anybody going off to university or college or any kind of course or whatever they're doing. I thought it was a great good luck kind of card. And this one as well, this is my fourth and final project with this stamp set. And I've used another Memories and More card from that same set here. It is called the World of Good Memories and More Pack from this same set. And I've put it on an early espresso card base and I've just matted it. I've cut it right down to the edge here and I've matted it on some Whisper White. And then I've used the slider on the ribbon again 
on the faux suede trim and I've used the stamp set here. Thank you for being a part of mine. And I have embossed that in gold. This is another way to use this stamp set. We love it. And I'm gonna write in there. So this is nice. Life is an adventure. Thank you for being part of mine. It's a great card for any kind of occasion, really. I hope you've loved it. I am in love with this suite. I love it so much. I'm gonna be doing a lot of scrapbooking um, too. So watch out for that. Do pop down into my description box down below and have a look and pop along and video hop and get lots, get lots of great inspiration. Do get onto that new catalogue PDF um, when it is open on uh, the 3rd um, or request a catalogue from me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe and don't forget to click the little bell down below for notifications of future videos. Happy watching!